Mr. House Master Chen Chu. Can you remember the moment when the brilliant idea flashed into your head? It was perfect for you. And all of a sudden, from the depths of your brain, the country started forcing its way forward through the enthusiasm until you finally shouted, Yeah! Great idea! But what did you. Oh. 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 On your face. What do you do when you fall on your face? You try to jump right up and poke no one notice? Are you more concerned with what other people may think than what you can learn from you? Mr. Contest Chair, friends and the people way at the back! Ouch! Did you feel I sit down too long? Have you ever stayed down too long? Of the voice of Mrs. Club, you know? I went for an American dream. I bought a subway sandwich shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're all impressed, I can tell. I don't brag or anything. I have six short ones. I took a $60,000 debt. And I doubled that debt. <laughs> That's right, I took a subway sandwich shop in a non profit organization. I financially fell on my face. But then I remember, I wasn't the only one from my hometown of Auburn to fall on his face. You see, a hundred years earlier, my childhood hero, Dr. Robert Potter, had a ridiculous idea to build a device and take it off on the ground. I preached the stars. Dr. Potter was the reason we landed on the moon. I remember when I had my ridiculous idea, I was sitting through a tape by Brian Trace, great speaker. He asked a question, he said, what would you dare to dream if you knew you wouldn't fail? I struggled for an answer, and that thing, I made a comedian. But you have to understand my background. I wasn't funny. In fact, the first time my brother had laughed at me was when I told him I wanted to be a comedian. Ouch! Who do you want to be? What changes you want to make in your life? So many of us can see clearly where you want to go. And yet, we move back and forth. If, if I have more time, if, if I have more money, if, if the kids will get older, then... But we never see. Dr. Gordon, first flight, took off in Auburn and landed. In Auburn. He only reached 41 feet. That was the first. They are strangers out there, people who don't even know you, who will make fun of your first step. When the local press found out about Dr. Goddard ridiculous really because I didn't reach the moon on his first flight, the next morning the headline ran. Moon rocket misses start with a 238,700 night and the half miles. Ouch! Are those strangers out of your process? We also have friends and family who love us, who doesn't want to see us fall on our face. Imagine my parents' reaction. Stretching their budget, helping me through college, and seeing me fall on my face, I came home one night. Mom, Dad, I want to be a comedian! I was mad. After years of struggling in the comedy world, I will not forget one night. I was born for 20 minutes, it was horrible. So I brought woman up from the audience and she just stood directly behind me. She put her hand forward in place of mine. It's an old improv technique. She would tell a story with her hand gestures, as I would tell it verbally. And it goes back, the more animated hands are, these women stood there like an ancient statue. She didn't move! I turned to her and that's and I said, please, do something with your hands! <laughs>
day two of your process. And I remember suffering. I fell on my face, but you took the next step. It's a step after the other. It's so important, it's so difficult. We don't like the other. We don't take a step after the other. You go like that, really. We learn from the edge. In effort to reach the moon, Dr. God has said, failures are valuable negative information. Information is essential to each step that goes into the moon. Dr. God was the ouch master. We need to be ouch master. If you are willing to fail, we can learn anything. I still have my day job. Find my hometown, the comedy club. Pick your hands up. That's because I took the step after the lunch. I wasn't given the opportunity. I wasn't given the gift of making people laugh. I was given the opportunity to take the first step. So are you. What's your next step? Man, you take it. Take it. I don't look back on my life and think. Maybe we try to call me thing instead. I pay all my bills. We are all going to move forward, we reach a point, and reach a point, then we get stuck, we can't move. But we're so afraid, we're out, then we forget. If you lean forward and take a risk, and fall on our face, we still make progress. So go ahead.